Kamalhasan launched it. Now Kamalhasan is finally going to align with somebody because he is not able to make any impact. Vijay is talking in generalities. It's too much uh, talking about we should follow Anna Sridhar. Can't make a name, get to part. Allah. It's nothing. It, it doesn't make any sense. So after he formed this party, he made a statement. Padi the world will not worry me. It is. It is the worst kind of gender cliche in politics. Vijay Gant movies, no? He fought against corruption in the films. But Vijay's films are all typical mass entertainers. which didn't have any substance see politics is not just nappani doing good things even if all the vijay fans vote for him it will not it will not be sufficient who are our enemies who are our allies who whom should be mobilized but vijay actor and leader of tamilaga vetri kalagam vijay will be hosting his first state level political conference on october 27th what this conference means for him for his party and for the voters in tamil nadu let's talk to political commentator and author mr vijay shankar on this hello sir sir actor vijay probably we should call him uh, politician vijay he is hosting his first uh, conference he started his party in february and now he is hosting the first conference how can we see this progress no i don't see i don't see any progress in this because it's uh, he is venturing into it without uh, i don't think he has a basic understanding about indian so- tamil society tamil politics i don't think he has any understanding it because uh looking at his track record as a, an actor uh i don't see uh, i didn't never saw him making a big political statement or any take any stand on any issue for that matter so we don't even know how he is venturing into it's purely based on his uh, belief that his fans will uh, will back him as politically also but uh, the problem with many actors actors they live in a make believe world they think that this f- fans and their uh, applause and their uh, enthusiasm on seeing him and uh, in public program they cheer him up but it's all it's all very very it's very, it doesn't matter in politics but many actors so far were very successful right starting from ngr jayalalitha even vijay kanth to an extent uh, kamal hasan so many people have entered politics using the fame that the cinema gave to them see the problem the only success story is mgr mgr is the only success story but mgr was not only an actor he was in politics has been in politics he had been in politics for a very long time first he was in the congress interestingly he joined the dmk in 1953 so he traveled with the dmk so it was a kind of mutual reinforcement his fan club and party were indistinguishable the both the party cadre liked mgr mgr also promoted party themes even he named uh, his character like in a, in, a, in a movie he na- named one character uh, kadiravan kadiravan is again sun suryan so in that uh, after that movie i think the movie is uh, pudhiya pudhiya bhoomi i think that movie after that the movie was released so he went for went on a campaign and he asked the people whom do you vote for then we'll vote for kadiravan that means he so that kind of thing so party and it party and mgr group parallelly reinforcing each other that is the success and he had a very good fan base which also consisted of all dmk so you cannot distinguish that so later when he entered politics in 1970 see for 19 from 53 dmk was a fledgling party then it was formed in 1949 53 to till 67 he was with the dmk in 72 till the split until the split and he contested election he won from parangimalai kadi it used to be called parangimalai st thomas mohan constituency before that he was an mlc so he had rich political experience and when he left and launched the admk lot of senior people experienced people also came with him so he had the experience vijay's problem uh, coming to other actors kamala has launched it now kamala has is finally going to align with somebody because he is not able to make any impact again the problem with kamala has is he was talking like vijay all two generalities without taking a clear stand see i'll contrast kamala has with prakash raj or any actor who wants to become politician prakash raj though he never had i uh, never expressed any wish to join politics he was very critical he was very open about so many things he was critical of uh, central government he was critical of um, prime minister modi uh, he was critical of everything that the ruling establishment stands for he took away but in in tamil nadu you have a strange phenomenon of rajinikanth kamala hasan talking in generalities vijay is talking in generalities it too much uh, talking about we should follow anna said kadamai kanniyam gattu paadala it's nothing it, it doesn't make any sense so uh, 
according to you what should uh, vijay focus on what should he do to to be a, a mgr 2.0 or it's very difficult see the problem is again as i said political parties which have stood the test of time they also organically grew from society taking up social issues for example dravidian party you cannot compare it dravidian party left parties congress congress had a clear goal a anti british fight and they took up later workers issues under under the pressure of the leftists workers and peasants issues they took up and in the case of dravidian movement their basic goal was samuga nidhi there is social justice and language state rights very clearly defined uh, political goal and they worked on the ground for example a karnadi for example kalinger karnadi di annadurai they just there is not a single village you cannot spot a single village where they have not stepped in they have traveled all over the state they met the people they were in with the people they were not living in a uh, make believe world of uh, the movie hmm. sir you don't believe in this uh, political vacuum in tamil nadu the theory of there is, no there is no vacuum it is clearly it is divided in the 1950s uh, there were three major forces immediately after independence one is uh, the congress the, the next big force was uh, uh, communist party of india which won some 52 seats in the first election dmk didn't contest any elections so all these parties they really worked hard to reach this so it's not you cannot compare it to any or individual so what the what the in the, in the case of left parties they had a clear goal uh, there should be a revolution in this country uh, first freedom freedom from imperialism clearly defined goal and they have a program left parties have a clearly defined program it's called kachi titam and party program it was evolved over a period dmk had a clearly evolved program of social justice language rights state rights they have been that's why they were successful congress anti imperialism then freedom movement and nehruvian policies they were all clearly defined so all these actors were coming in including kamala hasan what do they talk is too much of general platitude what you call platitude they make pious statements about thing without taking a clear stand on issues vijay has just promised that he will be uh, you know uh, discussing about his core ideology in the state conference probably after the conference he he'll be able to possible but his track record as i said earlier we have not seen him make any statement any stand okay that he was fully immersed in films but uh, Uh, he, he uh, even even if after he formed this party he made a statement padithavargalellam varavendum it is it is it's the worst kind of gender cliche in politics it is a completely wrong theory also P- politics in tamil nadu kamaraj kalinger karnani they, they were all well educated but they transformed the entire state what kind of statement is padithavargal it is too much of a very common sensical view which will not appeal to anyone unless you take up issues on the ground what are the issues in 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 tamil nadu for for example there are two kinds of issues one this what is happening in this homogenization culture cultural movement is done by the bjp ruling party and people here dmk and left parties they take a clear stand and they fighting where does he stand okay leave alone that, that okay you come to other issues leave alone political issues economic issues lot of unemployment tamil nadu is not really bad unemployment jobs education need there are so many issues on different fields so we will we will have to wait how how, how how is he going to really take it forward to see all these fights all the uh, the leftists dravidian movement congress all these fights are based on some clearly expressed ideology ideological world view they have a view way whom to uh, whom to mobilize whom to attack these are very clear in this programs who are our enemies who are our allies who whom should be mobilized but vijay when he announces something if he announces something i expect it to be very very general kind of statement and and he doesn't have any politically experienced pe- person with him one uh, one anand is there puduvai anand i don't think he uh, has any experience for example in the case of vijayanand uh, vijaykan he had uh, panduti ramachandran and vijaykan movies no in movies also he expressed some kind of ideology uh, which was against uh, for example sivappu malli i don't approve of such that kind of films but still he talked about left ideology he showed he showed the flag he showed himself to be on side of the workers and peasants and he fought against corruption in the films but vijay's films are all typical mass entertainers which didn't have any substance so actually um, many stars are they made into politics but in in this case of vijay 
he is in the peak of his career now uh, there were many speculations they, there were um, many news reports that uh, his paycheck was around 200 crore rupees for uh, the goat movie at the at the pinnacle of his career he is making a decision and he says he will quit uh, his career the f- in films and he will be a full time politician don't you think this is a brave decision this is a big decision no it's very easy for rich people to make brave decisions it's very easy to make brave statements it's not a brave decision brave statements but what actually yes whether he is brave or not will be proved only on the ground whether people will accept it and the problem with all these actors including kamala hasan vijay gant that is had political organization up to the ward level up to the local taluk level but the problem with all the political they think that if that fan club club will automatically transform into a political party it's very difficult to run a political organization it is what is the difference of uh, having a fan club and uh, having a party fan club job fan club job is when when a movie is released they go and uh, make a big noise they go to the movie at 4 o'clock in the morning uh, first day first show fdfs and they will go they do this pala uh, abhishekam all those things after that they are quiet they do some kind of narpani see politics is not just narpani doing good things politics is more it should be rooted in the ground they should take up uh, local level issues you have to take up issues but his uh, uh, fan club members they contested in local body elections and uh, they want to make some inroads you know the problem is in politics is you have to really work for a long time in politics to really understand the situation don't you think uh, in this era of uh, social media all the you know m- the campaigns being done online and uh, he has his fan base so big don't you think these things w- these things will social media can win elections body must be winning all the elections even the last election they lost the election the problem is but we cannot deny the impact of social media right media but the problem is what is carried in social media what kind of see you have to prove it on the ground by your actions when you are social media you can say again make uh, very pious statements about uh, the thing is whether you stand for something or not it should be made clear which we don't know so far it's untested factor so we cannot make but social media can uh, cannot win election what the problem with so, and election is a business mass politics you, you are talking about uh, some four and four, four or three or four crores of people your fan base may be from 10 lakhs 20 lakhs 15 lakhs it's pa- scattered all over the world all over tamil nadu it cannot win even a one constituency if you uh, if vijay can win one maybe south south madras parliamentary constituency just take for south madras it, ma- it must be having some uh, some 50 60 lakh votes may more than that one crore votes even if all the vijay fans vote for him it will not it will not be sufficient so it's a myth again this make believe world is again carried on by the social media so uh, what are the risks being taken by vijay then because uh, now he wants to quit his uh, career ajit is also not making big so do, what are the risks so again i said people with a lot of money and resources can take risks they can take make brave statements that's not issue at all but the risk is he might lose uh, his uh, i i'm very i i have an understand in my understanding he will not succeed in politics it's very difficult to re- succeed in politics just by using social media and making some nice statements you have to really work hard for a long time dravida munetta karam worked for so many years left parties worked for so many years so it's going to be big problem for him so he might uh, lose uh, oh, the problem is once he comes out and contests elections and i don't think he's going to make a big impact in my opinion uh he might win so one or two seats even that is difficult because the fra- fragmented quality is fragmented one side you have this dmk alliance which is very intact strong the other side opposition space is fragmented so vijay is in for a big disappointment that's what i think he will not be able to make any impact even if he wins some four or five percent of votes it's not going to make any difference so he, he, the risk is he will lose his film career because people who follow him you know oh, oh, people who think that uh, his uh, big statements he really translate to action they'll be disappointed like rajinikanth rajinikanth made people wait for so many years many people lost their lives 25 years he was in poli- he was promising to come to politics finally rajinikanth lost that but he hasn't lost politically but his fa- fan base is intact i don't know whether vijay will be able to sustain that base so 
you think the risk is uh, both in politics and in the film career yeah, in career at least you can sustain if he goes back he might succeed also but politics i think he will not be success it my assessment based on the fact that he doesn't have political experience he doesn't have people with political experience to guide him and he doesn't know the ground he doesn't know what the real issues are so it's going to be a problem for vijay in future i think